Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm continuing work on my unrepaired 3D printer. It's an Ender 3 V2 Neo, and I'm going to go ahead and update the firmware on the printer and install the professional firmware for the Ender 3 V2. So let's get started. At present, I have the printer running using the default firmware, and I've gone ahead and printed the Benchy. And I'm pretty satisfied with the way it looks. The Benchy looks decent, but the printer does need to be tuned. Before I spend a whole bunch of time tuning the default firmware, I thought I'd go ahead and update the firmware to the professional firmware, which is custom version. I've used it in the past. I've done a video in the past. And it's been almost a year since I upgraded, so I'm going to go ahead and walk through the steps of upgrading this for another professional firmware. And that way you'll know how to do it as well. The professional firmware for the Creality Ender 3B2 and S1 printers has been out for quite a while. As I mentioned previously, I've gone ahead and upgraded another Ender 3B2 I have to that firmware and walk through the steps to get this machine up and running. As far as I can tell, the only real change I'll need to make for the Neo is I'll probably just need to up the print speed, which is some bad thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the releases and see if we can figure out what we need. Rather than pre-compile anything or compile it myself, I'm just going to use the pre-compiled versions. So I've navigated to the professional firmware GitHub site. On the right-hand side, I'm looking for releases. And I can go ahead and look through this release, which was released in March. And if I scroll down, I can look and see the various versions. Now, in this case, I am using, I, I've investigated and I'm using the 4.2.2 Creality board and download the appropriate firmware for this board. In my case, since it's a Neo, it has a CR Touch. So I'm going to download the Ender 3 V2 422. BL, ULB, NPC version. So let's go ahead and download that. So the firmware is downloaded and let's head on to the next step. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and downloaded the .bin file and copied the bin file and then pasted it over on my SD card. Once it's done copying and eject it, and then I'll put it in the printer and switch over to the view on the printer. Now this is as simple as inserting the SD card. And then what I'm going to do is move my camera over a little bit so you can see the screen better. Okay, so as of right now, I have the SD card inserted. I don't have USB plug plugged in. I'm just going to reach behind the printer and turn it off, and then I'll turn it on again. So I'm going to turn it off, let it fully power off and then turn it back on. And this will take a couple seconds to install. So we're letting it reboot. And it's just finished installing. Now I still have the default Creality screen on here. And my next step with the firmware successfully installed on the printer itself is to update the firmware on the display. So let's go ahead and turn the printer off. And since I'm going to take off the display, I'm going to unplug the printer. So I've just unplugged it. And then I'm going to move the display over, unplug it, and then I'm going to take off these screws and then I'll show you the next steps. To update the display, I've headed over to the display assets folder and I'm scrolling down on the page taking a look at the pictures. Now it turns out I actually have on the Neo this updated display, which means I have to download the private folder. So if I scroll down here, there's the stock display firmware and then there's this compilation. I really like this compilation. I like the colors. So I'm going to click on that. And as I mentioned, I have this DACAI display downloaded this private folder. Now with that private folder downloaded and insert my SD card 
back in onto my computer. With the SD card back on the computer, I'm going to navigate to the SD card and delete everything that's there. So I want the SD card blank. So I've deleted everything. Then I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to right click on the private.zip. And if in your case, if you're using the DWIN display, it'll be the DWIN.zip. I'm just going to hit extract all. And then I'm going to navigate to the SD card and just select the base of the SD card and extract. I'll just check things. I'm going to go over to the SD card and take a look. I've clicked on the SD card and I have the private folder with all the subfolders. So I'm going to eject it and put it in the display on the printer. I'm going to take the SD card and insert it here on the display. So I have it inserted. I'm not going to put the back case back on yet because I want to make sure everything flashes correctly. So I'm going to go over here, plug in the display, Display plugged in. I'm just going to set the display here. Plug the printer back in. Let me move the camera over so you can see a little bit better. So I've plugged the printer back in. Now I'm just going to turn the power on. So the screen should start flashing. So you can see things are happening. And I have a progress bar going. It's a little hard to see. Now, I'm going to turn this sideways, and as you can see, the looks like the screen has been updated. So the screen and the icons are now up to date. So I'm going to go back over and turn this off. And unplug the printer again. And since this is all set up, I'm going to go ahead and put the back of the case back on. I should mention before I put the back of the case on, you need to make sure you've ejected the SD card. I have the display set back in place, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the printer on. And as you can see, I now have everything back up to date and ready to go. So before I close out, let me just stop for a minute and discuss what my next steps are. Now I have a professional firmware totally installed and ready to go. I had looked at the professional firmware's website or a GitHub, and there is a calibration guide. So in my next video, I'm just going to step you through the process of setting up all the various calibrations. So you can see there's a bunch here, and then you should be totally ready to go. I appreciate you hanging out with me as I update the firmware on my Ender 3 V2 Neo. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you like what I'm doing, please feel free to share and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. I appreciate any and all feedback. Again, thank you for joining me. Hope you have a good night. Bye.